All right, hopefully you guys can see me and hear me. Okay, I'm gonna make an experiment here. What I'm trying to do is I've got this remote cam or this remote microphone, and I've got uh, this unit here. Uh, this is called a uh, chassis ear. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna hook that together and see if I can't diagnose some uh, noises, wheel bearing noises. Okay, so what we've got here, these are like alligator clamps. And uh, what there is is the alligator clamp has got a microphone mounted inside of it so it can pick up noises. So I suspect this thing has some sort of a, a wheel bearing noise and I can hear it echoing in the back here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and discern or show you which side it's most likely coming out of all right here I am here's what we got going on I'll show you kinda how this is all mounted So I've got my chassis ear right here. This is the controller. And I've got my microphone in pin number one. And then these other two mics that are on the alligator clamps, I've got the left side on the, I can put yellow as a number six, or I could just go for the next in line, which is two and three and we'll decide what we have there and then you guys are going to be hooked up and I'm going to put this aux cord right here in the back of my camera so you're going to, you should be able to hear not only this microphone um, I'll have to turn this on and you'll have to, you can listen to me on one, and then the other two microphones I'll swap between two, uh, these two here, and then you'll be able to hear or differentiate the noise in this rear, rear end, rear differential, rear wheel bearing, I'm not sure. I've already taken a look at it, I'm pretty sure I know what it is, but I'm going to let you look at it, and we're going to go from there. So I'm going to plug this aux cord into the back and I'm, that's going to shut the front mic off Hopefully you can hear me. And you'll see what I'm looking at. But I've just got you on a tripod, so you might bounce around a little bit. Try to get some speed up over here. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be enough. I'm going to have to go over here and hit the highway. Okay, 
I can hear it a little bit in the back. I'm going to swap you between channel 2 and channel 3, okay? back there. U-turn up here. All right, we're stopped, so we'll see what's going on. Hey, there's Poppers. Hi, girl. What you doing? You just stopping by? Yeah. All right. So, anyway, got to make sure everything's turned off here, and uh, we'll see what what you see from what I think it is. Let me try that. Alright, got our drop light here. Alright, I'm going to put you on a mini tripod. And I'm going to hook you back into the uh, back of the camera here. have that remote mic on but we're going to go from the right rear over here to the the left rear and we'll see which one of these is actually closer to the noise all right so hopefully you can hear me there i've got the volumes about in the middle so hopefully I'm not shouting at you so let me get this thing and drive and see if we can hear the noise
So here's two. What'd you think? Okay, let me shut this big mic off. All right, hopefully you were able to hear something. We'll try that. Shut this little drop light down. Go ahead and close the door. It's only about 18 degrees today. Door's not that great, but at least it helps. Alright, well, that was not the most ideal thing to do. What a pain. Um, yeah, looks like overkill, but let me show you this. See if I can lower you down just a little bit here. Alright, so right in here, this control arm right here, the bolt comes all the way through it. And it comes down and actually, I couldn't get this uh, socket on this one, so I just pulled the whole thing loose. Anyway, this is what I'm looking at here. All right, so here's the wheel bearing. I don't know if you can hear this, but and then this one a little harder to turn since it's new. There's nothing there. And it's not loose, but it's, I can just, turning it, it's crunchy and crackly inside there. Alright, well, I didn't have a chance to go test drive the car, but the problem got fixed. Um, the uh, wheel bearing was internally failed. And of course you can't do anything with them. You can't lubricate them, you can't do anything but change the whole hub. Which has been that way for several years. Anyway, um, just want to let you know what's going on. I'm going to get a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Uh, like, share, and subscribe if you like to. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.